Scorpio, this is all about you. Scorpio, thank you so much for your constant support of the channel. If you're new, welcome to Born Without Boundaries. I am Michelle. This is my channel. Please do click subscribe and ring that bell so that you know when all your favorite content goes live. I upload a new Scorpio video every single week and it always comes with an extended video. That link is down below. The extended video is a deeper dive into with full tarot into the energies that we pick up on here in the oracle card reading um it gets into specifics and it really personalizes the message so that link is down below please do join me later for that um and yeah no dates on the videos it definitely the message will come to you when it's supposed to come to you but there's a new video every single week so come and get you some every single week if you have rung that bell you'll get the notifications as soon as i upload them all right this is not a horoscope this is an energy reading okay so uh this is for scorpio sun moon rising venus mars Mercury, wherever scorpio influences your natal chart or influences your life so it could be um what's like what's going on outside of you i don't know if you're cross watching but this is this is that counts too so let's get into this energy reading. Let's do this. Okay, Scorpios, Scorpios, Scorpios. Ooh, Scorpios. Okay. Scorpios. Ooh, it's something with boundaries, man. Something with boundaries. Oh, boy. Are you keeping yourself from being loved? Are you being protected? Are you blocking yourself? Oh my God, it's like you're so close to home. You're so close to home, you can almost feel it and that's the problem. There's a sense of loyalty, there's a sense of love, there's a huge Cancerian element coming out here. So you may be dealing with a Cancerian, Cancer Sun, Cancer Moon, Cancer Rising, maybe especially Cancer Moon or a Cancer Venus. There is just a sense, like a, a real heavy Cancer influence here. Um, I know sometimes we don't know the natal charts of the people that we're dealing with, <laughs> right? All you know is their sun sign because you know their birthday. That's pretty easy to ask right that's the neutral question uh so when's your birthday you know <laughs> instead of like so what, what, what when's the time you were born what's the place you were born you know like we can't ask that as soon as we meet somebody whatever um bottom line is there is a heavy cancerian energy so it doesn't even mean that it's their their birth chart it's just a sense of them being afraid either you or them um, or a circumstance that you're dealing with, a, a, a fear of happiness, a fear of loyalty, a fear blocking yourself. Uh, maybe this is too good to be true. Is this really happening to me? You know, is this, is this, you know, is, can I, can I trust myself? Can I let this in? You know, can I let this amount of domestic bliss? Am I boring? Am I, am I, have I lost my pizzazz? Because really the only thing I want to do is like wrap myself around this person and like eat ice cream with them and Netflix and chill all night. Like what, it, what is going on? Like, am I, why am I changing? Like what's happening? Or, or this sense of guarding, guarding your sense of home, guarding your heart space, guarding, guarding uh, the people who are nearest and dearest to you or being in the presence of somebody who is extremely loyal and will help to protect you but but feeling afraid either them or you is feeling afraid to let themselves be open to this really unconditional beautiful circumstance so that's what this is set healthy boundaries and be loyal to what you love this sense of look at his eyes look at little armadillo he's so cute and he's just so freaking heavily burdened by this i need to guard myself i need to protect myself i need to guard myself i need to i need to protect my heart i i, I want to love i want to love completely but but oh no oh no what happens i, I can't let my guard down i want to be vulnerable it's that kind of energy that's happening with whatever circumstance you're in i mean i remember feeling this kind of energy scorpios when i when i gave birth to my son it doesn't even necessarily have to be romantic it's just do i have a right to be this happy can it can it, you know will it will you know being afraid to trust something that really is a beautiful energy now um both of these are cancerian energies these are this is like a sort of a like a unbalanced cancerian energy because it is defensive it is it is hiding so deep in its shell it's almost like the shell is so thick you're burdening yourself with the burden of of blocking what you really want it's like you're looking out and this you're like you're 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 so close to what you really want you can touch it and if you look in romantic tarot 
I'll attach that above. Um, conclusions are within reach. So something is so something is so near, so close to you. Um, you can touch it. You can see that it's real, but it's almost like you still don't want to believe this sense of real loyalty. This is very high vibrational Cancerian energy. Un the unconditional love. The um, I'll always be there for you. I adore you. I accept you. This energy of uh, is this too good to be true? Um, yeah, I, I can't take my eyes off of you. It's just, you're just too good to be true. Um, now, of course, this could be, I know everybody complains when I do romance. I'm not intentionally doing a romance reading. I'm doing a whole romance spread in the extended. But Scorpio, this is the energy of, um, this is what the energy is. Like this, this is the primary energy. So could you be dealing with uh, the, a sense of, oh my God, I'm just buying my first house for the first time. I love my family. Uh, how, like, it's almost like I, I want to protect them more than anything. But it's almost like I, I, I'm scared to believe this is, this, is all, this is all true. I'm scared to believe that this kind of beauty is true. I'm scared to believe that I'm, like a fear to believe that, that I, I'm, I'm sort of like white picket fencing, if you will, type of thing. Like, what, how did I get here? Happiness, love, blessings, being being blessed with people around you who love you unconditionally, um, a sense of real bliss. Uh, and I know for those of you going through hard times, this is a sense of this is a sense of do I have a right to be happy? Will I ever be happy? Wanting to believe in the best, but being afraid to make yourself open and vulnerable to the worst because when you leave yourself open to believing in the best that's where disappointment comes from. so this is the struggle and the conflict you're dealing with um now and and the sense of um why like what was it that that sort of spurred this what's what's going on and i feel like it's you seeing a change a change is coming a change is happening and sometimes it's easier, no, it's more difficult for us to accept the good stuff than it is to accept the bad stuff because we get so used to dealing in toxic environments that when good stuff happens, it's almost like that feels like the poison. Spirit has a plan. Nope. Uh, this, is, this is feeling like... Um, like the world has been turned upside down, like like once again, disbelieving or being uncertain or not really knowing if it's for you. Um, a sense of feeling cursed, feeling um, abandoned, feeling um, like spirit has let you down or in maybe so many times, so many occasions. But in general, this is a card that comes out to say, it's not spirit that's guiding your path, it's you. You are the power, you are the force, you are the current. So if this has been a sense of, you know, you've led yourself here to either this good spot or this bad spot, this sense of um, our focus determines our reality. You're the one telling spirit what the next move is. And you think it's in reverse. Like you may be sitting there like being like, God, why have you done this to me? But it's not, it's not God. It's, it's you because you're the one with the power. You're the one guiding it. And it's almost like being unaware that that's what's been happening. Well, guess what? Now you're aware. Now you're aware. And it could very well be this wonderful time has come to you because you've done the work, because you've led yourself to this beautiful moment. Are you going to let yourself enjoy it and believe in it? That's the trick. This and that are true. A sense of being playful, being happy, being able to be very comfortable in your emotions, very comfortable with yourself. Think of a dolphin. It's like they're always freaking smiling. Like think of, think of that. Think of it. And it's because they're just, they're just, they, they live in the moment. This is a moment that you can trust. This is a moment that is meant to be happy and light. And I think that gets, like I said, that can be a little bit difficult for people who are used to like crawling on the bottom of challenger deep, you know, that heaviness, that pressure feeling like, where's my heaviness? Where's my pressure? Where's all the weight on me? Where is it? I don't know why it's all of a sudden gone. Not realizing that it's gone because this is a new version of you. This is a, this is a new, maybe a transition that you've made in your life and reacting and, and it doesn't, it doesn't really feel right yet. 
Um, see the big picture. Uh, this is an energy of two plus nine, which adds up to 11 awakening, awakening to all awakening to seeing beyond your own, whatever you're closed into your own shell, seeing beyond it, like letting yourself open up and get a broader perspective and understanding of the world, knowing that you are sort of like it's almost like you're safe because you've gotten the glimpse ahead. It's like if you look a little bit ahead, it gives you a little bit of comfort. In other words, you're the one plotting the course. You see the course, you see it in the distance, and that's why probably life has gotten better because there has been this energy of choosing where you're heading as opposed to just... Um, as opposed to just letting it happen to you, but simultaneously enjoying the journey as you go. Uh, this is Taurus energy, um, a sense of sweetness and calmness and more loving energy. Um, yeah, let's get into the central energy. Let's see. Time to collaborate. This is about collaboration. So as much as it seems like this could be work, yes, now, this is about being together with people that you trust, with people that you have chemistry with. This is a sense of connection. It could be a sense of true collaboration, finding that person that things finally work with, being like, is this really working? It could also be helping you yourself or somebody helping you or you're helping somebody put the pieces of their life back together again and it's actually working, but it's at a very fragile moment right now. So you don't know. Like everything is looking up, right? You're, you're, you're getting bold enough to be able to start planning a few months out now. Um, but you know how fragile it is. And I think maybe that could be why you don't want to get too far ahead of yourself. I don't see anything bad I have happening. I, I, I'm not there. Like the cards do not lend me to believe that anything is about to switch. In fact, this does look to be like a really happy thing. And it is a really, let's put it, way, let's put it this way. Scorpio, it is a really happy thing. It's really beautiful. Um, what's going to happen in the future should not affect how you allow yourself to feel joy today. Because the joy, that, the joy that's available today is to be enjoyed today. It's to be lived in today. And if you miss it or turn it away, then it's almost like saying to spirit, spirit will listen to you. And if, oh, if Scorpio doesn't want joy, I'm just going to redirect it. I'm just going to, I'm just going to take it in a different direction, you know, but if we accept and embrace that feeling of joy now, even whether it's, whether it's guaranteed to us or not, the, the beautiful, um, the beautiful truth of the more in joy we invite into our lives, the brighter our lives become. All right, let's get into, okay. I mean, what is this like? Uh, the energy of four plus nine, uh, four plus nine, 49 adds up to 13, which adds up to four. You can trust in this. This is your, um, this is lucky. Think of luck. Think of, uh, this is also my fertility card. So it could very well be babies being made, more children coming into the world. Uh, maybe feeling like this is it, the future. You're like I said, this is all about creation and manifestation. You could be physically creating a new person or just multiplying your abundance somehow, somehow, um, uh, it could be financial as well, uh, taking this abundance and making it greater. Like you already have it though. It's something that you already have. It's not something new coming in. It's just multiplying. The abundance is, is, is growing. Oh, be here now. This is Libra energy, something beautiful, looking at something fascinated. I can't believe like, like almost you can't believe how beautiful life is right now. This is honey sweet, like suckling on the nectar of life enjoying the beauty, enjoying the time, and in doing so, inviting more of it to you. This is Libra energy. It's truly beautiful. It's beauty. It's glamour. This could be the beauty of the moment, the beauty of the um, a person, the beauty of an opportunity, but it's definitely like this idyllic scenario that's freeze-framed. You want, almost want to freeze it in your mind so it never ever goes away because you feel like just like a hummingbird, it's gonna it's going to move too quickly. But you want it to just hover there for just a second. It's like this, it's like this moment, like in the matrix, everything slows down so you can actually really just languish and enjoy the details. 
time for a beginner mind. But once again, yeah, this is the energy. This is Aquarian energy, but it's a sense of I need to show everybody that I'm ready for battle. I, I, I'm feeling like you have to wear all your armor to the party so that people know to not mess with you. But it's like, and it's because you're new here. You know, you're, you're being defensive and you're being guarded because you're new here. That's why. Or you're dealing with somebody who is defensive because they've never been this happy before. They never experienced this kind of beautiful moment before and they almost don't trust it. They almost want to be like, would you say to me? We mean, thank you. What do you mean? Yes, ma'am. What do you mean? I love you. You know, like, you know, it's almost like they're not used to hearing it. This is new. This is new for them. So they're all like bristling to guard themselves, to protect themselves. This could be you. This could be them. But it's because this is different for them. This is not, this is not their comfort zone. Their comfort zone is probably a battle, battlefield. What is your grounding energy, Scorpio? Bring your ideas to life. Something new is sparking. Something new is being created. Spirit has your back. You're the one that's creating it. This is Capricornian energy. You're the one. You're the leader. You're the one setting the structure, setting the foundation. Be fearless. <clears throat> Be fearless and bold. Aries energy. Very cardinal energy. Starting something. Got to be starting something. This is something is just starting. Laying a foundation. Uh, somebody in your life taking the lead. Maybe maybe this person has changed you. Uh, worried about the change. Worried about if I change, will I ever go back? No, you'll never go back. Your life is never going to be the same. Your life is going to be better. Right? This is that grounding energy. Of you being the one that's making the decision and making the changes and taking the lead. It's not even spirit. Spirit is sitting there hanging out, following you, saying, what you manifest, I'll follow. So this is that very grounding energy. Be fearless and bold. This is Aries energy, Capricorn energy. Um, you could be dealing with an Aries or a Capricorn. Something new is starting, starting off in your life. But Spirit has definitely got you. Which is why it's almost like you, you feel you have support from somebody that's extremely important in your life. You could have just gotten a government contract. You could have just um, gotten, you know, like, um, so Capricornian energy is very much father energy. So you could have just gotten like approval from a father figure or an authority figure that you, is hard to win over. A sense of somebody is giving you the resources and giving you the green light to invest in you, to... Support your endeavor, Scorpio, to say, I endorse you. I trust you. Let's follow what you're, what you're saying. Um, hold on. I'm going to flip the camera angle so we can review the cards. So somebody has definitely got your back, Scorpio. Somebody has definitely decided that it's you that they want to invest in. Uh, this is a new kickoff of being able to and having the resources to be able to move forward with what you know is true, your direction, uh, solid ground, moving on solid ground, uh, being secured and certain, basically having almost like the authorities or the, 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 um, the status quo, the establishment basically like, like support you, get back you. Give you what you need to like bring what you, what you believe, like they're believing you, they're endorsing you. They're saying, yes, it's Scorpio. And finally being able to build something that's extremely important to you. You could have just gotten approval for your mortgage, you know, for a mortgage. You could have just gotten approval for like, um, a new business loan, something like something to that nature of, of that's what's grounding you. And it's almost too good to be true. Now. I'm going to go further into this reading. I'm going to dive really deep into these energies just to see a little, just more details about what's coming, what's coming out of this. And then we can get a little bit into, you know, how far ahead you can look and feel secure. And we're also going to do a romance reading. Um, Scorpio, I love you guys. I'll see you guys over on the extended.